Yo, YouTubers, it's beer o'clock time. It's beer o'clock time, and today show a special drink for you to review. Nah, let's get let's get this <laughs> silly voice right. Bit of a belated one, this guy's a beer review. I thought like I'm cheating here because I have actually tried this beer right. So I have tried it, but it was quite a while back. I'm I'm not sure how long ago, nearly over a year ago, definitely right. And someone recommended it to me, I asked someone, right, I said, what's your favourite drink? And he recommended it to me, he said, oh, this is nice, like a nice refreshing lager, like, you know what I mean? Right, so I went out and bought some, like, I bought, like, a crate of the stuff and, and tried it, and I ended up, like, hammering the whole crate in one, <laughs> it was about ten bottles, right, so, and so I didn't really review it, I just kind of got off my head, and I didn't, and I enjoyed it and everything, right, so what I did today was I bought it for the first time, I bought it again. To do a review of it, like, because I think it, it deserves a review because it's a bit of a mad one, like, and it's not many people talk about it, and it's a nice drink. And see, you know, I'm, I'm sober at the moment, and I'm thinking, let's see how this does, how it affects me, like, because I didn't monitor it last time. Okay, the drum roll, the drink in question, <laughs> Modelo, Modelo, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico. Hey, 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 all right, I don't speak Mexican. Right, okay. Now, I have tried it, like I say, and I loved it, but I wasn't, you know, I was kind of, I went through the crates like no one, like it's like a dude, you know, like wildfire. I've been, I hadn't drank for a while and I bought some, but anyway, let's go for it, let's see what we'll go go. Beer, beer, beer. Cervera, Cerveza. Modelo Especial 1925, 4.5%. Right, as far as I know, it's, I think it's bottled in Mexico. I hope it is. Because that's what I like about it, the taste of Mexico. Anything Mexican is good for me, mate. Right, see any more information? No. It says, product of Mexico. Strange this, because it's very hard to find in the shops, isn't it, right? And up the road, there's a, there's a news agent to sell booze and stuff. And they've always got it in, like, you put... I had to... The only place I could buy this when I was looking for it, when I was advised to try it, like... I had to go to Sainsbury's to get a crate of it, like, um, which is kind of out of my way, like. But anyway, let's just see what it says on the box. You get these little packets of four, you see, like a little... You know what I mean? Like a little thing that's... Uh, See, there's no, there's no frills, no writing, no boasting. Imported beer from Mexico. That's what we want to see, mate. A little piece of Mexico. Straight to your door. What else does it say? Imported via Spain. Yeah, no information about it. It's just a special lager, isn't it? It's like, I suppose it's like Corona or Sol. It's the nearest thing I can relate it to. It's just, just beer in, the, in in Mexican beer. And it's designed for a hot country, you know what I mean? Now, it's cooled down a bit now. The climate has been cooled down a bit. Like, But anyway, let's get on, let's get on with it. Let's crack this bottle open. Let's see what we've got. Right. Love the way you got that, like, you know, it makes it feel a little bit more classy, doesn't it? Having that little golden, you know, the golden seal there and that, like, lovely gold colour. Don't have to put it in a glass. Drink it straight out of the bottle, clear bottles, Mexico, Viva Mexico, let's go. There we go. Bottle top is off. Uh-oh. Any pictures on the top? No, it's just a gold thing. Modelo. Yeah, it's very, very really mentioned beer, this, you know what I mean? But when I tried it, I thought, ooh, it is nice, it's a refresher, it's like, it's something for them, for in the park, isn't it, or for camping or something, you know what I mean? It's, it's perfect, but anyway, any for Mexican, it's going to be a, a quench, a thirst quencher, isn't it? And I need this lovely gold colour. It's lager, isn't it, really, like, but it's just Mexican beer, let's go, that's 4.5%. Little bottle. What's that measurement? 35, 355 millilitres. Right, let's go. Viva Mexico. It is 
a delightful flavour. Mmm. Yeah, that's a quality lager. It's got that crisp, biscuity kind of like thing going on. <laughs> like a thing going on in that way. And, oh, it's very tasty. That like it does remind me of the finest lagers you can you can buy. You know, like it, it's it is a craft. It's like a I don't know what to call it, man. You know what it reminds me of? I'll tell you what it reminds me of, right? Let's have another swig. Yeah. It reminds me of an organic beer called Circle Master. It used to be out a few years back, about 10 years ago, maybe a long time ago. And it was actually made by Prince Charles' estate. You know, Prince Charles, it was organic beer called Circle Master. It was just listed as beer, like a gold nail. It was organic and had a kick to it, like a nice drink, but that's what the flavour reminds me of. An organic beer. You see, a lovely gold colour. Nah, not many people mention this drink, man, right? Now, it is like, it, it does remind me of like, it's like Sol or Corona, but without the lem lemony or limey kind of taste, you know what I mean? It's just got a pure beer flavour, like, but... Yeah, my cousin, my nephew was right. My nephew recommended this to me. And it is a quality taste, you know what I mean? It's a lovely lager. The last time I tried it, like I said, I bought a crate, about 10 bottles. And I was sort of cook I remember like yesterday I was cooking my tea there in the kitchen and I opened one bottle and I felt merry mood immediately. I started putting music on, you know, the usual stuff. And I just completely forgot about like monitoring the way it was like working on me, you know what I mean? And I basically the whole crate was gone the next day. <laughs> or maybe two bottles left or something. But I had a lovely night, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a nice beer that it really is. Very nice. When it comes to like refreshing, oh well, yeah, it's it is a summer beer. You know what I mean? It'd be beautiful on a hot summer's day. It's ideal for when we have these bad days, you know, the sun sunny days when it's too hot. It should be fading soon, shouldn't it? We're we'll heading for our colossal, horrible winter. You know what I mean? Oh my word, what are we in for? But yeah, four point five percent. And you can tell by the label it's quality, can't you? You know, little bits of gold on it and that, like, you can... But, I, do you know what? I'd call it an absolutely perfect, just lager beer, you know what I mean? Absolutely finest taste. It's, it's so refreshing. I wish it was colder and it was more thirsty, you know what I mean? It'd be more like an impact on... I don't know, I've got a bit of a thirst, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get a thirst, thirst. Yeah, man. A Modelo Especial Mexican beer. I highly recommend it. it. Feels good. It's on. It's in a lager re frequency. Well, yeah. Anything Mexican does mean like tequila or whatever you know. I love tequila. I haven't tried mezcal yet. That's one of my tests. I've got. Coming up in the future, I'll order a bottle of um, Mezcal with the worm. And I'll do a review on it, like, you know what I mean? A full-blown review. Could have a tequila night with some people, maybe. I don't know. See how it goes. Could do a live stream, couldn't I? A lot of tequila night. Peyote and that, like. That's, what's made, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm drinking this beer from Mexico. And immediately I'm thinking, peyote night. Peyote night. By the way, time check. Time check. Let's go. We're on 18.26. That's um, 26 minutes past six on the 23rd of August 2020, Sunday, that I'm drinking this beautiful beer. Gorgeous colour, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's like prostitute urine. Just absolutely perfect. Like prostitute urine. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say to Joe, by the way. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Look at the logo, it's a kind of, kind of nice detail. See, it's got like beer written in about 50 languages at the top, like. Just in case you go to Mexico and you're from Guatemala or 
you, I don't know, from Belgium or from Czechoslovakia or something, and they, you know, I need to find the word beer in my own language. Well, have they missed anything out there, like? Oh, cameras. There we go, beer. 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 Mbla. Mbla. Barry. Beer. Beer. You gotta excuse me, the words like Kerverza. The words are in reverse on the screen. I don't know why it does that. How does it do that? It's like the, the screen is a mirror. It shouldn't be the right way no matter what. It's weird, really confusing, like, because the words in reverse. Feel really happy. Nice. Good. Liver's not enjoying it. Me also is going to complain, but I should be okay. Alright. Let's keep going. Mm. Mm. There's another famous beer in there, man. They've got it to a fine, fine, fine taste. Um, oh, man, come on. Ooh, it's all the high quality lagers I can think of, basically. It's got, it's got that little universal fine lager taste going on. Like. That is a fine beer, that, mate. 4.5%. We're just below the magic five. Um, still haven't got any pandemic. Apollo and Pan are still fighting it out on planet Earth. Pan versus Apollo, the light versus the darkness. Still no pandemic in my life. <laughs> What's going on there? Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, man? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I'm glad I've reviewed this because it was like. Yeah, I sort of, I, I didn't review beers when I first tried this, you get me, like, I sort of went through a lot of beers to try, man. But I think this deserves a mention, everyone should be onto it, like, and it's a nice, if you can find it. But Sainsbury's is the place where you can guarantee finding it. And it's just so refreshing, it's delicious, I'm sure a lot of people would love this beer, if they, were, if they, haven't, they don't know about it. Like I said, I didn't know about it until my nephew told me about it. Um, man, it's a, it's a party beer that's like, well, barbecue camping oh man would that be great outside I'll have to play a bit of guitar with it and see how I feel later pardon me not too gassy neither oh man what's the familiar taste like a really high quality lager it's like a pub lager as well it's like it, it's fine now it's fine let's see I'm going to say I'm going to give that let's, let's finish it It's so smooth and easy to drink. I tell you what it reminds me of the Chinese beers, it reminds me of Chang. It reminds me of the, the, the beer that's um, got the Chinese beer that's got the Chinese water in it. Got that kind of taste as well. It must be an Indo Chinese thing, wasn't it? Amongst the, the um amongst the indigenous peoples of the land. Gotta be careful not to get any silver paper, any foil in my mouth because it touched me fillings and they go. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I like that. There's definitely no information there. Is that just product of, product of Mexico? It's from Mexico. A little piece of Mexico, mate. This came all the way. All the way from Mexico, mate. Just think about that. This little bottle came all the way from Mexico. Scary thought, that isn't it? just felt like a nice merry drink because um, 
I'm really packing it in from tomorrow. I'm gonna like gotta take a break, proper take a break. So far, I'm gonna have a nice little friendly, happy drink. I'll do a little review while I'm at it. And okay, I give it's an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten for me. Eight out of ten for me. It's an eight out of ten. It's fine. It's good. It's quality. It's not welly in me like you know I like, but it's as it should be. Four point five percent. It's basically man, hot country, Mexico, whatever. Slice of lemon in your glass. Whoa. Right. I've justified its existence. I've reviewed it. I feel like I've done my duty now. And now it's on to bottle number two. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm going to be calling it quits on these reviews for a while. Because I basically got to get my shit together. But I highly recommend that as a nice... Very tasty lager. Very tasty. Mm. Yeah, I can feel it coming on. I'm feeling happy and feeling Mexican. Thanks for watching. See you later.